What's going on, everybody? It's a pharaoh lord. <laughs> I was a pharaoh at one time, one of my past lives. I was a pharaoh. So, you know, it ain't fall, it ain't fall fetch me. I mean, and I was just sitting here thinking about Christianity and shit, right? I'm smoking weed, Bella. But, now you know. You gonna run or you gonna stay? I know you don't like weed smoke. Alright, cool. She always be trying to be a man. But anyway, I was sitting here thinking about that Christianity shit, right? And Christianity is interesting because if you don't follow the law, and I mean the Christian law, you going to get a lot more, you know, punishment from sin than anything. You know what I mean? Because if you follow the law, you got to follow the whole of the law. You know what I mean? Not a part of the law. This shit is in the Bible. You know what I mean? It's telling you. It's giving you a disclaimer. You know what I mean? But the book's true meaning because the Ten Commandments was death. You know what I mean? That's, that was death. That was to keep you consciously and spiritually dead and physically dead on this plane. That's what that was for. Now, the law of Jesus said that he came back to uphold and not destroy or do away with was actually the seven cosmic laws that govern the universe. That's the interesting part that nobody fucking knows, dog. Now, that's very fucking interesting because I had watched a YouTube video one day just off the cuff. The universe just be throwing me, I mean, the spirit just be throwing me shit like here. I mean, for a later date and shit. I mean, so, you know, the boy said, uh, you know, in the old version of the Bible, old as shit before they started revising it, he said that uh, uh, the God that gave Moses, Moses said the God that gave him the tablets had they had horns. And I mean, so I'm like, what deity back then had motherfucking horns? And I said, oh, the symbol of the Moors. And I mean, the Baphomet head. Yeah, I mean, the black amores, black gods, man, black gods, man. I said, oh, so that shit just pieced together. I said, damn, they always be giving me the pieces to the puzzle I need, man. Because, you know what I mean, the Ten Commandments, so see, with, the, with, with, with Christianity, you got a private side of the law, <laughs> you got the public side of the law. I mean, it's funny as shit. I mean, just like in America, you know what I mean? You have the public side of the of, of uh you know the law and you got, you know, the private side of the law. You know what I mean? And you got two sides. That's where the elite rule when the people that, you know, ascended to a high level of wisdom. I mean, they just motherfuckers in jail just got the same knowledge as a motherfucking billionaire and shit and had this shit for like in his family for eons and shit. You know what I mean? Shit be crazy. Like, the public side of the law today is the Uniform Commercial Code. I mean, that's the private side of the law. The private, the private side of the law today is the Uniform Commercial Code. Yeah, I mean, the public side of the law is, you know, I'm a taxpaying citizen. Yeah, I mean, I got to pay to the queen taxes every year and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the private side ain't got to pay because they know already don't none of that shit exists. It's just like in spirituality. You got the private side of the law. You got the motherfucking public side of the law. You got the motherfuckers that still believe Columbus discovered America. You still believe motherfuckers believe that it ain't no aliens, even though their authorities tell them. Now, we're going to get to that. Then you got the private side of the law. Niggas know about Area 51 already. Niggas know that aliens have been coming down. Motherfuckers been channeling beings for years. Motherfuckers eating right. They know what they put in the food. That's the motherfucking private side of the law, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't even going to say woke. I mean, the motherfucker, I ain't gonna say conscious or nothing. The motherfuckers that's aware. Motherfuckers that's aware. Fuck that conscious and woke shit. That'll bring it down that motherfucking woke shit, man. Awake. Root word is, is fucking awake. Wake. The viewing of a dead motherfucker. You calling yourself a dead motherfucker. That's crazy. I knew that shit was trending. I was trying to figure out where that shit came from. I said somebody created that probably within the motherfucking government. Because that word magic is strong, man. Motherfucker, you got a couple hundred thousand to a million motherfuckers saying that shit. That word got power now. You're like, damn, this motherfucker rolling now. It's hard to break out of that shit. Motherfucker be like, well, I changed the meaning 
of the word, you know. So it does. So you mean to tell me a motherfucking a fucking word that has the backing power of millions of fucking people because they trending in pop fucking culture? You mean you, the one that lacks fucking the mental faculties to change your subconscious mind and how to train it, not even make it mean that fucking word that you wanted to mean? Now you mean you telling me you studying ancient scripture that deep that you know how to do what I can do? Let me see that. I got to see it. I got to see it. I got to see it. I got to see it, and they don't. They acting just like one of them woke niggas worrying about the money. If you spiritually grounded, you understand that you don't need the fucking money, dog. You don't. It's energy. You can attract it when you want. When you see niggas chasing the bag, they showing you exactly who they got is, man. That's where their time, energy, and money come from. That's when their their saddening emotions come from when they ain't got it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Doing it to yourself. Doing it to your motherfucking self. They you know. I'll be sitting back watching. This is a big TV show to me, man. I just sit back and watch y'all. For the most part. Because it's funny as shit. It's comical. Y'all want so bad to get out of your situation, but you're not willing to change to do it. And everything says you have to change to do it. But you don't like to change because change is hard. But yet, change is constant. So that means you're in an endless, perpetual state <laughs> of feeling sad, like, uh, confused and worried. <laughs> and from that shit, that, that state of confusion, sadness, and worry, from that shit comes the fucking, um, the shit you want to attract. You know what I mean? As far as energetically, because like energy attracts like energy. It's a law that must be obeyed. So if you're on the negative frequency, now you're on the negative frequency with another negative frequency, motherfucker. So now he can hit you. He can hurt you now. Ah, that's why I say it's important to stay positive when you're in the type of situation. Because once you get on that frequency, you're done. Boop, boop, boop. Nothing is random, dog. Nothing. Nothing is random, dog. I learned that shit early in the game. Everything is for a reason. We attract that shit. You know what I mean? Even if you want a path, you know what I mean? And you real nice and one day you just tee off on a nigga that. Boop, bop, boop, boop, because, you know, he, he just kept playing with you. And you ain't feel like it that day. Boop, bop, boop, 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 boop. You know what I mean? You a positive dude, but at that particular moment, you got mad. So, therefore, you was on the frequency. You know I mean, so what he motherfucking said to you really hurt you. Like, oh, shit. I'm about to trash this. You know what? He do for one. Boop, bop, boop, bop. You know what I mean? Now you get banged. Boop. Cops come. They grip you up. They, oh, he did that to that man. All they see is a black man beat somebody. I don't give a fuck if it's black or not. You was the aggressor, bitch. And he looked fucked up. They gonna tackle you. So... Boo, boo, boo. Next thing you know, you got to remind yourself that, you know, your energy battery full. You're a naturally positive person. Just at this time, you couldn't take the shit no more. So what does the universe do? Because you so positive all the time, nigga. Somebody, a witness came out of the crowd and told the cops, no, he started it first. He ain't do nothing. Just out of the blue. I mean, the cops let you go. Lock that nigga up. We gonna lock your dumb ass up and he whooped your ass. Dummy. It's kids out here. Come on with us. He get the gusto. Why? Because the universe knew you was going to be <laughs> the nice motherfucking benevolent you when something major happens, even though you trash the nigga. And they know that this nigga do this shit to people all the time. So now the universe going to send that motherfucker your way. Because they know you gonna be nice, benevolent, you and out without blemish, and he gonna be the aggressor, and they gonna punish that nigga, and he not gonna learn the lesson because he don't understand that he's in a fucking game. This is how the cycle is perpetuated. It's just a lack of understanding. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean, so they not down here learning. For the only reason why I know what the fuck is going on, because I've been paying the fuck attention. Now, I mean, I know how the universe is going to give you something. Now, I mean, like, oh, shit, you know what? Damn, my man got robbed at gunpoint down North Philly, my nigga. 
man got robbed down in North Philly at gunpoint. Now, this motherfucker operated out here like an advanced entity, just like me. We both know the same ancient scripture. Every time we learn something new, we bounce it off each other, and then we go out to the bar, to the club, or a restaurant and test it out. I mean, and we see that this shit works. I mean, we got stories, nigga. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, I, oh, God, man, I just had, like, 35 flashbacks of how we used to fucking do out there, man, and we was just, like, no, like, we was nobody, for real, but we was somebody, we was somebody to us, and that's all that mattered, and then everybody started treating us like we was somebody. Look, man, I'm, look, I could teach anybody how to do this shit. Right now, I just been chilling. I ain't really been feeling like that going out shit. Like, that going out shit overrated. Like, I'd rather sit in the crib and learn something. Everybody try and go screw something all the time. Everybody try and go smoke something, try and escape reality. Everybody got some type of drug. It's motherfuckers, when COVID started, ain't never did drugs a day in their life. They go straight to the hard shit. Methamphetamines, you like, fuck that. I'm in the neighborhood of this shit. Help you unwind, man. Motherfucker, go for anything right now. <laughs>